<laughs> what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Right here in Dirty Jersey, located at Garden State Harley Davidson. Beautiful day out here. Blue skies, clear skies, as you can see. Little chilly though. So we got a high of 38, 40 degrees today. Not too bad. We still got some snow on the floor here and there, but overall, nice, beautiful day. And what a beauty we have here. I'm gonna take you guys back with the with the nostalgic thoughts right now with the with the old Marvel Kid 87 videos. What started it all for me? Here it is, the 2021 Iron 883, and right next to it we have the 2021 Sportster 48. And that crimson color very very beautiful what we're gonna do first is that uh, we're gonna take this bike out and then uh, we'll do a separate review for that so tune in for this uh, maybe I want to have both bikes next to each other it's just to give you guys a little bit of comparison I know that a lot of people when you're looking at this bike that is the exact bike you're gonna be looking at next to it as well and you kind of want to know exactly what is the huge difference um, What's going to change the big price point from the 48 to the uh, 883? So we'll start with the Iron 883, right? Beautiful bike. This was my first bike I bought back in 2018. Um, I had a, a hell, hell, hella, hella, hella fun on this bike. Um, had this bike for about a year, and then I uh, obviously traded up to my 2020 um, uh, Low Rider S. Uh, but beautiful design bike. Bike gives you that nice feature look from that barber style era as you can see in the back you got that chop fender right there looking really really nice also all blacked out i feel like this it was the nicer and then this bike is what kind of made everything everything go all blacked out so now as you can see a lot a lot of the specials on the backers everything's blacked out um my bike my low rider s everything's pretty much blacked out and you can say that the iron 83 and the nicer were kind of like you know the the starters of that the originators um overall beautiful bike man um we'll start with the front we'll start with this uh with this gauge cluster out here very minimalistic um you're gonna be able to turn your bike on we'll switch the switch on right here which yes no key fobs we we'll just switch it on and on here with the uh, toggle <clears throat> you're able to so your mileage um what else your time your uh your gear what gear you're in and your rpm that's what you're going to be able to see on that it'll let you know if you have low gas uh if you need uh if your engine lights on your battery light is on um there's no indicator on here that lets you know exactly how much gas is left in the bike but you'll get the 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 gas light on whenever you need uh it gets to that low level right as far as controls you're going to have your on and off switch here your right turn signal your power button your dual uh turn signal light right here your toggle switch your horn which will let's beep it right now beep your um high beam low beam and left turn signal just like on any other harley davidson we'll go ahead and head and uh switch this bike off um out to the front you're going to have your turn signals, no LEDs, obviously. Your headlamp, no LEDs, because this is, uh, you know, Harley is still not putting LED headlights on other bikes yet. I, I really don't know why. But there you go. Uh, this light, every, everybody always switches that light out. Because that. i got to be honest, that light does not give you the best lighting at night. It, it really sucks. Um, the matching paint fender in the front with the matching paint on the tank. Um... The battery cover right there and then on the back fender as well in that matte black looking really nice i really like this this color one thing you should know about this color it gets very very it's very easy to get scratched extremely easy so you're gonna be very very careful with this paint um you don't want to you know be dinging anything on it you have any zippers or keys dinging on it because it gets scratched so so easy you have no idea and to keep it clean is another thing like it's uh it's a hassle number one is black number two it's matte so everything is going to show on it so you're going to stay on top of the whole wiping down cleaning everything down you're going to have your wheels right here your nice mag wheels these are really really nice i'm a big fan of, actually of these uh of these wheels um that one disc uh, brake in the front, no dual disc brakes. This is a Sportster at the end of the day. You really don't need all that stopping power. You're not going to have uh, that amount of power to stop anyways with this uh, Evolution 883 engine here. So the Evo has been on the platform, obviously, for a really, really long time. These are the only uh, bikes that the Evo is still on. 
um, surprisingly. Um, still an amazing engine, bulletproof engine. Um, if it's still around, it's for a reason. It's because of uh, longevity. It's a great engine. A uh, really easy bike to work on as well, guys. Um, that I, I learned so much on this bike. And like I said before, this was my first bike. And I was able to play around with this bike and take off parts here and there. And it's very, very easy to do. If you guys want to see any of those videos, uh, I have um, a list in the bottom. Um, just on mods on this bike and videos with this bike as well. So you just take a look at that. Um, the air cleaner on this bike, I'm a big fan of. I love the design on there. It just gives that vintage looking style. Very, very cool. Going down to the primary, everything is all black. Uh, you got mid controls on here, which is a plus. I'm a fan of mid controls. Uh, four controls, which comes on the four on the uh, 48. Uh, I'm, I'm not a much of a fan of that. I'm, I'm a type of rider that I like. I like that type of more aggressive riding and I like to feel planted on my bike. You're going to have your dual exhaust on here, which uh, we'll turn them on right now and let you guys hear, but it's stock exhaust. and not going to sound, you know, the best. Um, your uh, exposed shocks in the back, which is a, uh, a plus. It just makes this bike look really, really cool with those uh, shocks in the back. One thing about the suspension, guys, it sucks. The suspension on any Sportster. It's going to really, really suck. It's going to be one of the first things you're probably going to want to change out. And, uh, you know, might go with some Legends or something. Yo, shout out to Legends, by the way. Um, yeah, so suspension right here sucks. Horrible. Um, this bike only comes set up for one person. Obviously, with that nice tuck and roll seat. It is not the most comfortable seat either, guys. So, I'll be honest with you. This isn't the seat that you kind of want to do two, uh, three or 200 miles in a day. Your, your butt is going to be hurting. Um, but it's a nice design seat. You can set it up to do a uh, two up here and add a little pillion seat. But I don't think your partner is going to be too, too comfortable back there. Number one, the seat. Number two, the suspension. But after you switch a few things out, pretty sure you could uh, definitely spend a few uh, hundred miles on here. So going out to the back, you're going to have your uh, plate holder right there, which whips out on the side, turns. Beautiful bike, man. Just beautiful. Hey, so uh, real quick before we just go into some comparison mode, going to show you guys who we got here. We got Jerry, the coolest white guy I know. What's up, Jerry? What's up? Jerry, when was the last time you were on a, on a Sportster? 2001. Did you have a Sportster? Uh, or are you just trying it out? Sports, yeah. My wife's sports was the last one I was on in 2001. Okay. And you've never been in a 48? Nope. Never been on a 48. So we're going to treat Jerry today to his first ride in a 48. Um, we're going to be taking him out real soon right now. Give you guys a full ride review as well. Um, just before I, I forget, uh, the gas... The gas tank, you're going to have a 3.3 .3 gas tank on here. So not the biggest gas tank. You're going to get around, average around 100 miles. Depending on what type of rider you are, you might average around 80 miles. And if you have a stage one or stage two, then you're talking about 75 or so. Um, so average around 100 to 110 miles is what you're mostly going to get out of here. Um, overall, beautiful bike. Do I miss this bike? Yes, sometimes. I, sometimes I miss this bike just through the fact that it is so... So nimble, so fun, which brings me to my next point. Who is this bike for? This bike is going to be for your, uh, the, um, the new person to Harley-Davidson, the person who's going to be ready to purchase their first bike ever. Why? Because it's at a cheap price point. Compared to the other bikes on the Harley-Davidson platform, it is a bike that is very nimble to, you know, learn on. This bike comes in weighing around 550 pounds or so, so fairly kind of low compared to like let's say a soft tail which is around 600 pounds still a heavy bike but compared to the others it's um fairly lighter um and it's basically an introduction bike this is harley's introduction bike um even though there were streets before but we don't talk about streets because yeah streets <laughs> um this is this is basically the uh the opening bike for everyone uh, that comes into Harley, cheap price point, small, nimble, and it's a bike that's going to be great for uh, city riding. If you're definitely commuting around city areas, you want to be, you know, going in and out of traffic and getting into small places, this is a perfect bike for you. Um, and it's the best bike for city riding. I I'm going to say that if you if you live in a in a city area, this is this might be one of the best bikes for that. Small, agile nimble and very torquey even with that 883 is not the most powerful engine comes around like 45 
foot pounds of torque i think it has not the you know biggest you know amount of power on there but it with that being said it is a very very torquey bike torque is always down there at the low gears very fun to ride now real quick i'm just going to show you guys the 48 so obviously the 48 comes with the smaller gas tank that's what they call it the 48 history right there um the air cleaner is going to be different on there this one has a more of a classic look it's very nice nice and clean everything on the uh iron 83 is blacked out you're gonna have your polished um heads over here your chromed out exhaust on here uh your mag wheels you have mag wheels on here but you have thicker and wider tires on this bike which is going to be a bit of a more comfier ride um and most of all, you have the 1200 CC Evo on here compared to the 883. That's going to be the biggest game changer when you're looking at the bike. So bigger engine, bigger tires, and then you also have four controls on this bike. Uh, it's it's not the most comfortable position, but it's it's okay. Um, I'm pretty sure Jerry's going to feel more comfortable on this bike because he's around 6'2", 6'3". How, how tall are you? 6'3", six, three. Six, three, perfect. I'm at 5'7", so I'm here. I'm going to be a lot more comfortable. He's going to be a little bit more stretched out on here. Um, your tachometer is uh, it's almost the same thing. Just push down a bit more on this bike. Uh, same controls. From factory, it comes with, um, with the uh, mirrors switched upside down, which gives this bike a nice little, like, again, bobster type of, type of look. I said bobster? Bobster. Bobber style type of look. Um, I like it. Uh... It, this bike is really really nice uh the headlamp in the front obviously no leds either um besides that the bike is pretty much the same exact bike as on that it's built on the same platform um same chassis uh this seat it's even uh a bit firmer so you're actually going to be a little bit more comfortable on the a83 on that one just because of the seat the seat sucks um same suspension um it's just like i said the tank is small on here bigger engine bigger tires four controls that's gonna be your your difference right there now correct me if i'm wrong but the forks on here do look i never paid attention to that but they do look a little a bit more beefier on here than what they do on the 883 so that's another change right there besides that um same exact bike um with that being said we're gonna hop on the road right now we're gonna go and uh take these bikes down the road give you guys my in-depth review of what it feels like to be on one of these bikes for you guys out there that are in the market right now and you're ready to buy one of these bikes pay a lot of close attention to everything i just mentioned uh all the differences between this bike and that bike and um it all comes down to your finance it's not a big huge huge price point difference now when it comes to price points this bike is going to come around 94 100 dollars they've raised the price up this year I don't know why they raised it up another six hundred dollars it's the same exact bike no changes whatsoever but that's another discussion that we'll talk about um and then this bike is going to be at 11 2 that's what it starts at this bike starts at 11 2 this bike starts at nine thousand four hundred and ninety nine dollars so with that being said let's hop on these bikes let's throw a leg over them and get on with the video oh wait we forgot uh give you guys a sound check give you guys a sound check real quick So like I said before, stock, it's not going to be an impressive sound, but once you change these uh, pipes out and get some slip-ons on there, even with slips on, I had I had slip-ons on my bike at first, sounded amazing. Some Vance and Heist uh, slip-ons, woof. But if you want to go ahead and do a full stage one, even better. So that's the thing about these Evos is that the, the amount of uh, the sound that you're gonna get out of them when you, when you uh, switch out pipes, it's like no other, man. It sounds amazing. So let's go, switch it into gear. <coughs> oh, this feels so different. <laughs> this feels so different. Like compared to when I'm on my Dyna or when I'm on my uh, 20 Lowrider S. Which reminds me, if this is the first time you are watching one of my videos, guys, let me just inform you a little bit tell you a little bit about myself um i own a uh 2015 dyna low rider and i also have a 2020 low rider s which uh i'm building out both of them little by little so uh if you want to see some type of content like that you're definitely in the right place go ahead subscribe hit that bell button as i notify you anytime i have any type of uh new content 
Look at that 48, man. That 48 looks cool. These these bikes have like a little, they have like a a, a thing. They have a cool factor. They they, they just look cool. Oh, <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> So different from my bike. Yeah, so they, these bikes have like a, a cool factor about them. Like they just look really, really cool. They look very raw. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm five seven, you know, I'm more on the shorter end. And on this bike I feel like a giant. I guess just because I'm so used to being on my other bikes and those bikes are much bigger. On here now I feel like <laughs> like a giant man. Now th this isn't the bike that you're gonna want for you know long distance riding man like you're not gonna be doing cross country right here even though i have seen people do it uh there's tons of videos out there people who you know push the limits of these bikes but that's if you really want to push the limits and make it known that you did it but uh, honestly do you really want to be doing that type of mileage as i'm riding this bike not at all not at all number one gas tank's too small for that on group rides when uh when i have guys that come on sportsers like we we stop most of the time just to get gas because of the guys on sportsers especially the guys on 48s man <laughs> okay drop down a gear nimble this is the bike that you could just throw around anywhere man it's a very very fun toy it's just so light and agile and it's just like it has such a great center of gravity as well like it just feels planted it feels like the weight is just distributed so equally everywhere There's some bikes you get on it's like eh, it just it just feels weird does it, it doesn't feel balanced I felt like that when I was on, uh, what bike was it? I think it was Jerry's V-Rod. I was like, dude, like this bike feels like it has like no center of gravity, man. It's just all over the place. <laughs> I really like that that crimson color. It's a really nice color. They uh, came out with a, with a nice teal color for this year for that bike as well. I'm gonna show you guys right now all the colors that the uh, A83 comes for uh, 2021. You can look at those colors those are gonna be your options there so quite a nice few new colors this year the green one's really nice so you're gonna have five gears right here as well guys so I think that uh on my both my low riders I have six gears here you're only gonna get five and a lot of people say that you can't do 100 on, a, on an 83 and believe me you can I, I used to do 100 all the time on this bike um, but this bike I'll be honest with you like once you hit like 85 to 90 it'll do it but it's gonna sound like it's, it wants to give up it's gonna sound like no like that's it I, I really don't want more that's what the bike is gonna sound like but will it do 100 yeah it'll do it some will argue that, oh, you're crazy, but yeah, I, I had my fun share on this bike. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the little stock sound doesn't sound too bad. Nah, who am I kidding? It sounds all right. <laughs> all right, let's go. The gears are very, very nice to shift on this bike. 
you got a nice positive feeling there whenever you switch a gear only one complaint about it neutral trying to find neutral on this bike it's challenging sometimes like it just doesn't want to look for it i used to go through that all the time you gotta say i learned a lot on this bike i learned you know how to ride better how to become a better rider how to do things how to work on my bike so it was definitely um, a cool bike man and people always ask me they're like well would you ever get another 883 i mean i don't need another 883 but maybe one day you know when the channel is doing really really well and i'm you know kind of at that point where i'm able to let's say like give a bike away this will probably be one of the bikes that i would do that with this or 48 um i, I would love to do that man i would love to uh give my first experience my first experience that i had on a bike and be able to give that out to someone um as their first experience i think that that would be awesome uh, that's only gonna happen with your help so if you guys watch my videos and subscribe and everything and uh, uh hopefully we'll get there not hopefully when we get there we'll do that we gotta speak it into uh into life now let's try to look for neutral nope nope there we go missed that one uh miss it again let me see uh, there we go we'll give you guys a nice little sound check right now as well again hop off of it let you guys know how it sounds like this bike is gonna have that nice little classic harley davidson potato 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 that type of sound that's going to conclude the video i hope i was able to help you guys out with any decisions that you're trying to make if you're trying to buy this bike or buy the 48 um like i said before i'm going to be doing a video on the 48 right now so if you want to stay tuned with that that video should be up in a few days um thank you so much for watching i'm going to catch you in the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace